Let's talk about Christopher Tapp. A couple weeks ago, you may remember his death was ruled officially as a homicide. Mm -hmm. And now more details are coming out about it. And it's just so sad. Yeah. But we'll tell you about it anyway. Here's what we think we know so far. There's one guy in custody. He turned himself in. Right. He was a suspect in the murder. Christopher Tapp was in Vegas. It says, okay, Las Vegas Resort, so it doesn't identify it. Maybe we know. He was in Vegas. I believe he was hosting a party. Mm -hmm. At that party, there was one designated bedroom or bathroom called the party room. Okay, yeah. And inside the party room, there was cocaine. Allegedly. (laughs) Allegedly. Yeah. And Christopher Tapp allegedly offered some cocaine to a 22-year-old female Uh who happened to be the stepdaughter of one Don Rodimer. Okay. He's a WWE wrestler, a congressional candidate- and he's 45, father of six. Okay. And this was his stepdaughter. And I guess he went up to Christopher Tapp and said, don't ever talk to my daughter again or something fatherly and protective. You know those headlines where the more you keep reading, the worse it gets? That's what just happened right now. Because the first question I had was, yeah. why was this guy partying with his stepdaughter at a party like this, like there's there's a huge difference if you go to a neighborhood Christmas party and you're partying with your stepdaughter there versus a party with a party room that has cocaine in it. This okay. is the headline from the Daily Mail. WWE wrestler Dan Rodimer, 45, charged with murdering exonerated Vegas man, quote, killed him at Halloween party while dressed as Barbie's Ken after he offered cocaine to his 22-year-old stepdaughter. It just gets wild. Okay, was the daughter dressed up as Barbie, though? I don't know. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. (laughs) And also, does that make it better or worse if she was? You know? Like, there are just so many questions around all that. And also, dude, like, she's an adult. She can choose what she wants to do. We don't need that going on there. Yeah, you know, it's a sticky wicket, isn't it? Yeah. Because like you said, he probably shouldn't have been there with his daughter. Right, that's already weird. And then, but Mm. since he was, he wasn't in party mode, he was in protective father mode, which I also understand. Sure. I don't understand committing homicide. Yeah, and that's the thing. If you're cool with going out and partying with your daughter or stepdaughter like this, then you also have to kind of be cool with the things that come around with partying like this. And you have to understand that she's enough of an adult to make her own decisions. Hey, honey, are you having a good time tonight? Great. Me too. I'd really appreciate it if you didn't do cocaine. Right. Not with me around. Not while I'm in charge of you. Yeah. I I can't look the other way on something like that. I mean, how do you have that talk with your kids? I guess you just don't take them to a drug-fueled Vegas party to begin with. Exactly. There's a huge difference between the neighborhood Christmas party and something in Vegas. (laughs) But that's the slippery slope, right? You think, oh, going to a party at a hotel. Cool. That's cool. This is great. And then the crazy shit happens and you're like, well, I wasn't expecting that. Ah! That's more like a slippery cliff. You weren't? You know, like you're yeah. you're plateauing here with like birthday parties and family get togethers. And then there's partying in Vegas. <laughs> yeah. You know? And then there's, yeah, hookers and blow or whatever the situation was. Right, right. A little bit different. <laughs> 